Hi everyone, back Paul here. So today I'm doing a video on a product uh, that I've been waiting for for a while. It's been delivered today and uh, as you can see from the uh, image in the, the video here it's called a wheel monkey. Basically um, it, this is a way to maintain and clean the rear wheel or front wheel of your bike and also uh, clean and maintain the chain of your motorbike. It's made by a company called True Tension. Uh, just uh, zoom in there and they sell other products. This is just one of them, mainly related to chain and maintenance. Uh, they do a, a chain monkey, which is for tensioning your chain, and uh, they do like a, a series of lubrication products. Uh, this particular item is something I've been looking at for some time um, because I do have a paddock stand myself, although it's kind of really old now, and I've not actually used the paddock stand on my current bike uh, or my new bike. Also, the paddock stand I've got, um, I haven't got kind of the spool adapters um, or, or fitment to uh, fit into, you know, if you've got a bike where you've got the like, little uh, bobbin adapters on the swing arm. And I've never really been comfortable using the, the paddock stand on my own. I know it is possible, but if I'm going to be using that, I tend to use it um, or get somebody to give me a hand so they'll hold the, you know, front uh, steady the handlebars while I kind of get the paddock stand in place and, and do it that way um so yeah i was looking for basically something that's a little bit more straightforward just for basic maintenance and that you can kind of use on your own and from what i've seen online it looks pretty straightforward because wheel monkey um or true tension on their youtube channel they do a demonstration of this uh, you can actually use it if your bike's got a center stand or a side stand uh, my m209 has just got a side stand and obviously if you've got a center stand then you'll probably be happy just to use the center stand on your bike you might not feel this is necessary but obviously a lot of bikes now have a side stand certainly uh, most naked bikes sports bikes and the video demonstration on on the true tension youtube channel it looks pretty straightforward it's just basically a case of um, holding the bike steady with the handlebars lifting the uh, side stand up obviously while you're holding it keeping it steady and then just uh, maneuvering the bike backwards up onto this little ramp and then in between the two rollers so if I can just uh, rotate it a little bit down here you'll see there uh, from the side you've got the uh, ramp itself and then these two heavy duty rollers I think according to the product spec on the website um, it can handle a bike up to around 220 odd kilograms so should be fine for about like the MT-09 and um, when you are maneuvering it backwards onto the stand, it basically just states to uh, get the rear wheel in place between the two rollers. Once that's steady, then you can just basically um, put the bike down on its side stand as you would do normally, and then it'll rest on there, and you can just basically rotate the rear wheel with your hands all the way around and clean, and uh, like I say, lubricate the chain if you need to, or clean the rear wheel. Um, you put the front wheel on left lock if you basically using the rear wheel on this and if you want to clean the front wheel again you just do kind of the same method it's even simpler you just basically roll it forward and get the front wheel in between the two um so hopefully it lives up to what i've seen online i've not like i say really seen any reviews of anybody who's actually used this or purchased it themselves only the company's video uh, so that's all i've got to work on um and you know there will be applications or or uh, maintenance on your bike that you'll probably feel is more suitable for a paddock stand you know if you're going to be doing anything basically more involved than just lubricating or cleaning the uh, chain and wheel then you know you're probably going to be looking at a paddock stand but for me personally this is exactly what i'm looking for you know it doesn't take up much space it's not as big and clumsy as a paddock stand i've only got limited space in my garage so for me personally this is perfect and all I need is something where I can just basically uh, clean the wheels, lubricate the chain, and I don't have to kind of do the, the kind of old-fashioned method of, you know, lubricating a section of the chain, moving the bike forwards and backwards and to do another part. And that tends to be how I kind of do it when I'm uh, maintaining the chain. But, you know, it's a, a bit of a kind of clumsy way of doing it. This should be... Um, a lot easier and a lot quicker hopefully and you kind of do a proper job especially when you're cleaning the wheel because it's kind of difficult if you're just uh, you know cleaning a section trying to rotate it and and do it that way 
using this, you should be able to rotate the, the wheel freely uh, while it's on the rollers and yeah, hopefully it'll um, be a lot easier to, to use. It comes in fairly limited packaging, just this simple uh, box there with the foam packaging. On the rear of this, if I'll uh, just flip it over, there is um, some kind of instructions there on the back. Uh, basically just explaining what I've kind of covered on this already, that is for um, maintenance and cleaning and how to use it. Um, so it just keeps, uh, it advises obviously to keep the bike on a level stand or level surface, so not uneven or slippery. Um, and then just that it's well supported, you know, while you're moving it onto the uh, wheel monkey and basically um, it has a step-by-step -step little instructions, but nothing difficult. It's just literally a case of maneuvering it onto the stand. Um, and then for the front wheel, it just, you know, advises you to repeat the steps. There is a little link there to their website and for the uh, video uh, that they've got online. And uh, yeah, we'll give it a try. So we'll try it now in the garage and hopefully uh, the bike will stay level. It won't tip over and we can do a little bit of a demonstration. Okay, so we've got the uh, bike and the wheel monkey in place. Apologies if the lighting's a little bit poor, I'm just using my mobile phone uh, to film this, so hopefully it comes out okay. I've had a couple of attempts with it so far, just to make certain that the angle for the phone is in the right place and that um, obviously the bike is lined up and so on. And so far, um, it's been perfectly fine. I've actually tried it without any support for the side stand, and it was really stable. Uh, the bike didn't wobble or move in any way um, but it was just a little bit too lent over to the left and it wasn't really upright enough so on my uh, bike and in my garage here I'm just using a little bit of uh, wood, a plank of wood just to support the side stand um, just to move it a little bit higher so the bike's more upright uh, I guess it depends on your bike and where you're using it um, it doesn't really mention in the instructions that you have to do that but if it makes it a little bit more stable and upright, then I'd probably suggest it. Um, if you've got like a side stand puck or maybe something a little bit thicker like this, this plank of wood, and it'll probably just make it a little bit more, like I say, upright and stable. Uh, but the wheel monkey itself doesn't budge at all. Once you move the rear wheel onto it, it's really steady, really stable. Uh, you can feel the rear wheel move in between the rollers, so you, you can kind of gauge, uh, once you're moving the bike backwards, that it's nice and, and kind of locked into place. And once it's on the um, wheel monkey, you know, the, the rear wheel rotates nice and smooth and there's not really any movement at all. You don't feel like the bike's unsteady in any way. So we'll uh, move the bike backwards so you can see that and uh, we'll then see if we can do it with the uh, front wheel as well. Um, kind of like a say, bit of a demonstration. Um, so obviously what you need to make certain is that the bike... Uh, in terms of the ignition is just fully off, you don't want the engine on or anything like that. So ignition off and then it's just a case of um, obviously moving the bike so it's upright, so move it uh, to the side. I just keep the side stand down because the uh, floor level on, on my garage here is uh, nice and flat so the, the stand's not going to hit anything but obviously you might want to um, move that up and then, and then move it into place depending on you know how you're doing it and the, the surface and how level that is. Uh, but as you move the bike backwards you'll feel it go up onto the ramp and then into the rollers uh, and like I say you can tell it's already nice and in place so we'll do that so that's it it's on the rollers now and uh, all you then do is put the left lock on uh, like I said the side stand is going to rest on this little plank of wood I've got here just to keep the bike a little bit more upright there we go and uh, yeah it's nice and steady there no problems at all and in terms of the rear wheel so now I've got uh, kind of access here and um, you'll see it just kind of moves nice and freely on the rollers. Um, both rollers are moving there. There's no movement on the side stand. Obviously the back is going to move a little bit as you would probably find on a, on a paddock stand depending on what kind of paddock stand you use. Um, and as I say, you're not really going to be doing any kind of heavy duty mechanical work on this roller. I would tend to just personally use it just to clean the wheel itself, lubricate the chain. Um, you know, I'm not going to be um, doing any kind of maintenance on the bike, you know, removing the chain or anything like that. I wouldn't suggest it would support that. Uh, but yeah, in terms of just basic maintenance, it's perfectly fine. And that's it. So you can see it turns nice and freely. And if you're lubing the chain, you're going to be able to do that. 
pretty easily or you know cleaning cleaning the rear wheel and um, so yeah we'll try it on the front wheel okay so we'll do the front wheel uh, same process as before ignition off on the bike just line the wheel monkey so it's central with the front wheel um, maneuver the bike so it's upright roll it forward it'll lock into place and I've got the plank of wood again just to keep the bike a little bit more upright so we'll do this one there we go uh, again limited space here so hopefully you can kind of see this and the light is not too bad um, but you've got that in place there and then it's just a case of rotating the wheel either backwards or forwards and obviously you can do your little um, maintenance on it there clean it um, it's a little bit stiffer than the rear wheel um, obviously the probably the chain being looped helps on that one um, but yeah no less sturdy so all in all it's a great little product um, the one thing I did notice is it has little rubber feet on the base of the wheel monkey similar to what you might find on you know if you get like a foot pump sometimes they have a habit of coming a little bit loose and I could kind of see on this one already the um, moving position a little bit so if you've got this you might want to kind of super glue those in place instead um, minor negative um, I think that's probably the only thing really other than that it's a good little solution to basic maintenance like I say cleaning lubing the uh, chain cleaning the wheels and if you've not got much space for a paddock stand and so on and all in all it's pretty cheap it does feel heavy duty like I say only those like rubber feet but I have so far today actually used this quite a bit um, because I've been trying to get the uh, angle for the video correct and I've had to uh, maneuver my phone try a few different uh, little angles and so on so I've been wheeling it on and off quite a lot and it's only now I've noticed the kind of rubber grips moving a little bit so just something to bear in mind but other than that it's perfectly fine as always i'm not endorsed by wheel monkey or any other products i use just my own personal opinion and what i find useful so hopefully you found the video interesting uh, if you want to uh, see more videos just like and subscribe and we'll put some more on soon okay thank you